TT's AutoSpreader, the industry-leading spread trading interface, gives you the power to create your own synthetic spreads and automates the execution of synthetic spread orders on servers co-located with exchanges around the world. Whether you're spreading instruments on a single exchange or on multiple exchanges, AutoSpreader gives you unparalleled performance and flexibility to improve your spread trade execution. In this video, we will discuss AutoSpreader's functionality, the advantages of using AutoSpreader, and setting up a new spread. AutoSpreader calculates a synthetic spread market based on user-defined parameters in the actual market in each leg of the synthetic spread. Here, we have the synthetic spread market in an MD trader alongside the market for each of the legs. When we place a spread order, AutoSpreader will quote orders in one or more legs of the spread. In this case, we will only quote in the second leg, leaning on a price and quantity in the first leg that will complete the spread at the specified price. As the offer in the hedge leg changes, AutoSpreader will modify the ask quote accordingly. Quoting orders are easily identified in MD Trader by the colored indicator bar in the working orders column. When a quoting order is filled, AutoSpreader immediately sends a hedge order into the other leg at the price that will complete the spread order at the specified spread price. To illustrate why you may want to use AutoSpreader, we will compare an exchange-listed calendar spread to a synthetic calendar spread. To get the edge on this exchange-listed spread, you will need other parties to give up the edge with enough volume to fill your order along with the other orders at this price. The legs of the spread are much more active. Notice that there is much more volume traded in each leg than there has been in the calendar spread. By quoting the legs of the spread, you are giving yourself a greater opportunity to get the edge on a spread trade. There is risk, as you are not guaranteed to get filled on your hedge order, but AutoSpreader gives you flexibility to minimize this risk. To trade spreads that are not exchange listed, AutoSpreader can be invaluable. To create, edit, and launch spreads, start by launching the AutoSpreader widget from the widget drop-down menu. The AutoSpreader widget displays all of our existing synthetic spreads. To see how a spread is configured, we can edit any of the existing spreads by clicking the pencil icon. Let's create a spread to arbitrage gold futures against eMicro gold futures on CME. We'll start by clicking Create, then name our spread Comex Gold Arb. We'll now color code it to yellow. We then select our contracts for each leg by typing GC in for the first leg and selecting the April contract. Then we'll type MGC into the second to find the April eMicro contract. We use the default formula of price differential to define the spread. The ratio specifies the quantity and direction of each leg of the spread. Since GC is 10 times the size of MGC, we will be trading one GC contract for every 10 MGC, and we use a ratio of one to minus 10. Use the multiplier to weigh the prices of the legs when calculating the spread price. In this case, the pricing precision of each leg is the same, so we will leave the multipliers at one and minus one. With payoff ticks, we can specify a number of ticks that we want to add or subtract from our hedge price before sending the order. Some use this parameter to help avoid getting lugged up on a hedge order. For this instance, we don't want to use payoff ticks, so we'll leave them at zero. With AutoSpreader, you can quote in one or more legs of the spread. When you quote more than one leg, you increase your chances of getting filled on a quote. You may also increase your chances of getting legged. In this spread, the eMicro contract is not very liquid, so we are only going to quote that leg and lean on the more liquid contract. We click Apply to preview the implied market using the settings and then Save. AutoSpreader gives us the option to launch our spread using a number of different widget arrangements. Let's launch our spread in MD Trader with separate MD Trader widgets for each of the outrights. We can see that when we buy the spread, an order is placed in the quoting leg and is modified in response to market changes in the hedge leg. While we've covered the most basic uses of AutoSpreader, it's easy to see the power it provides for entering and exiting spread positions, rolling positions from one calendar month to another, or for arbitraging same or similar contracts. AutoSpreader allows you to create synthetic spreads with up to 50 legs. It provides the ability to create ratio spreads, net change spreads, and even the ability to define your own custom formulas. You can also customize the quoting and hedging logic of each spread, giving you the power to differentiate your spread executions. Stay tuned for more tutorials on using AutoSpreader.